When we think about therapies for rheumatoid arthritis, there can be a great deal of controversy surrounding what is truly an adequate response. For clinical trials, we typically use a 20% improvement to assess significant improvement. But the reality in our individual practices, we may be looking for 50 or 70% improvement to assess what might be truly useful in an individual patient. In fact, in some situations, we may be looking to see if we can induce remission. Based on the clinical trials data we have to date, we recognize that most biologic agents, when used in earlier disease or in patients who have tried and failed methotrexate, we can expect roughly 20% of our patients to achieve a 70% improvement or even possibly remission. However, when we start looking at a more refractory patient population, those who have tried and failed early biologics, such as tumor necrosis factor inhibitors or TNF inhibitors, on average we see that agents can only re result in the development of remission in roughly 10% of our patients. So when we choose agents such as abatacept, rituximab, or tocilizumab in our TNF failures, we in general need to recognize that we're probably not going to hit the same levels of remission that we might have if we had been treating patients in or with earlier disease.